Hey, welcome. My name is Canute, and we're in Mufan Odasen's world today. We're there to uh, rehearse our studio, and um, we're gonna talk to the to the man himself. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing awesome. Thank, yeah, thank you. Thank Good. You. So you play bass. You yes. you you you're a musician and you're an engineer. Yes, sir. How you got started? So how I how I got started was um, from Sunday school. You know, uh -huh. um, back home in Nigeria. Um, the boys always wanted to play the drums. Yeah. I mean, the drums was like the icon to show you that you are a real boy, you know? Uh -huh. So that's, now that's how I started. And while, w while taking turns playing in Sunday school for um, the Sunday school songs, we will be struggling, fighting, I mean, plucking branches, you know, just, just to get a chance. <laughs> like to, exactly. Yeah. Making sticks, just to get a chance to play on the drums. And then from there, um, now I'm, now I grew up a little bit bigger, you know, and then I somehow I lost touch on the drums, oh. you know, and then I was like, what other instrument should I pick up? I was like, the keyboard looks looks too complex because it's too many keys to play. Yeah. So, so all right, let me try the guitar, you know, and then that's how I started with the bass guitar, oh. and I fell in love with the bass guitar wow. from from the first time I was I think I was um, I was sixteen, mm -hmm. um, that's when I picked up the bass guitar. And um, from just a couple songs actually caught my interest. Uh -huh. That's um, the song by John Peaky, um, his album, um, Rain On Us. I mean, oh, yes. That song, I mean, yes. that song was awesome. And then, um, and then Fred Hammond with um, Jesus Be A Friends Over Me. Mm -hmm. you know, all around me every day. Yeah. You know, just the walking business was like, yeah, you know. Yeah. So that's how I started learning. Yeah. And then um, now I came to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I was here, you know, I learned the culture, you know, I was still in the culture, uh -huh. you know, and then I was like, I would love to get involved with, with, with them recording the music, you know, and doing stuff around the soundboard because those guys look cool. Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea it was a lot of work. Yes. <laughs> you know, and then I got in contact with um, Otty. Yeah. Shout out to Otty, you know, and then who um, linked me up with you. Yeah. And then I mean, and just how you approach the whole um, idea of of mixing, recording, sound that sound engineering as a whole, actually cut me like a drug. Mm -hmm. I mean, just your approach on it. I mean, just I mean, had me totally sold. I was, wow. I mean, I mean, I was excited. I was like, wow, this is like a new toy for yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we started. Let's tell our our, our viewers. We started our our training session um, using Skype back then. Yes. Several, remind yes. me the year again. We that was 20, 2010, ending about December, but we started fully, no, um, from about about October 2010 mm -hmm. into 2011. Yeah. Yeah. And so we started out using about Skype. About one year, one yeah. year plus. You yeah. know, using Skype, and the yep. uh, majority of our time was online, online. sharing sessions, you yes. doing share screen, and yes. then we connected in 2010 when I was yes. on the island for face-to-face um, -face face classes. Face-to-face, yes. You know, we're on the veranda of my parents' house yes. um, in St. Catherine, and it was just a wonderful time. You are a great student. I'm not saying that because you're on the show, but you are this, this, this person that... Um, wants more yeah. and you know with any information you get you you, you build on it dig on it and um, you always come with your, your course your coursework and um, get good grades you know and yeah it was a joy it was afterwards now um, I think we had ended and we went to a show together and you were you were shadowing me I think you were playing on a set, the and Genesis then you shadowed, show, yeah, yeah, yeah. Genesis and you shadowed show. me yes, on yes. there, and that was a joy to see you, see you on there. I walk or leave him a little bit. <laughs> I love him on the board, <laughs> you know. I think. Um, what was what was the biggest takeaway from those audio lessons? Well, that the biggest takeaway was was that you have to love what they're doing, mm -hmm. because when you love what they're doing, there's the amount of um, work that you put in the commitment comes in like nothing yeah. I mean because Neil you spent a lot of your time sometimes I mean you come you come in from your work you know and then we have to um, Skype and he said that give me 10 minutes and you I mean and just the passion that's loving what you're doing you put in everything a hundred percent living no stones on turn mm -hmm. not having any plan B I mean actually that's that's um, the greatest thing I 
picked up from the lesson. Yeah. But the lessons were awesome, I mean, because yeah. you walked me through step by step how to set up yeah. my recordings, how to clean up my sessions, how to arrange them by buses, you know, how to use the different buses, how yeah. a lot of stuff that you, I learned. But what I gained from there was the passion, you know, what it means to make a mix, a work represent you. I mean, that was what I learned. Um, that was like the greatest. And you went on to do things, um, great things. You work with, come, give me the list. Nomads, Nomads. Um, Peter Morgan, yeah. Luton Fire, um, Mystical Revolution. Um, I did some stuff with Spice. A um, lot of artists, a lot of persons. I mean, one on one, you know? Yeah. yeah. So where are you now? You're you're nine years in. Where are you now in audio? What are you doing? What are some of the things that you're doing? You work with some of these people. What are you doing now? And then musically, what are you doing now? So right now, um, that I have a few projects that I'm working on. Um, most of the time, I get like sessions from a few of my producer friends. You know, so I, um, about um, two months ago, I got I got a session from Mr. Williams. Um, that was for Luton Fire and for Maya So and and also for this 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 girl band, very, very talented girl band from Kingston, Jamaica. I think they're named Adeze, something like that. Yeah, so yes, right, I'm getting a few projects to work on. And also I'm also playing, actively playing. I just got a call for a, um a backup show for for um New Year's Eve, that's the the thirty first playing for Ibama and his crew, you know. So nice. that's a couple of artists. So and also, you know, that's a you know, me diamond sucks and me follow yeah, me. Man, you know, <laughs> now being an Nigerian, you know, learning how to play reggae bass line and also playing it in my own Nigerian style and feel and being called up by persons to actually come and represent you know, it's an honor, you know, it's a blessing, yeah. What was it like growing up in Nigeria? Okay, um, <laughs> no difference, I mean, little boy that's running around, you know, we had lots of, um, like, chickens in the yard, so we yeah. run around the chicken, you know, run off the chicken, you know, playing around, you know, climbing trees, plucking um, guava fruits, mango fruit, and stuff like that. And then, um, uh, now, growing up then, as compared to now, was, m like, more of, community. I mean, we're always around friends. I mean, there were no, like, smartphones to, like, take you away. I mean, we're always face-to-face -face with people. Mm -hmm. That communication was always there, you know, knowing what's happening at the next person's place, you know, mm -hmm. was mainly word of mouth, you know. It was fun. It was fun. Cool. That's yeah. cool. Um, so, did you know as a kid, you say you started out with drumming, did you know as a, as a kid that you wanted to do music or, you know, did you have your heart set on any other um, career when you're growing up? Now, Neil, that's, that's, a, that's a great question. So, growing up, um, I think I was about two, three years old when my father would play the vinyl. Yeah. You know, so we play like Four Brothers, play The Temptations, yeah. you know, that stuff. Like that. So my little mind, I'm like, well, my little mind at the time, I'm like, those guys, those little persons inside that system playing, <laughs> I want to be able to go inside there and like, w like see how they actually do that. Because in my mind, I'm like, there are some little guys inside the system. Because when I see all the graphics moving and the stuff, I'm like, mm -hmm. so um, then growing up, I was like, I actually want to do that. But, you know, school and stuff, you know, and what the parents really want you to do, because they wanted me to like to do medicine, you know, so I went into the sciences. I was actually studying biochemistry. And so doing that and also play music on the side, you know, like I'll hide out, you know, go and play some little music, you know, and, and practice on my bass at church, you know. And then once, one day I went to, my, went to my dad and I said to my dad, Daddy, I really want to go into music full time. I know it's not really what you wanted me to do, but that's where my heart is. Yeah. But they, they, they took the chance. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I remember I look at you now, eh? I mean, I mean, it has been a journey. I mean, a learning experience, humbling and learning experience. I mean, coming here, absorbing the culture, and also infusing some of, not some, but also my my heritage, in, into the music that I'm playing now, and also working with with um with awesome people. I mean, I mean, Jamaicans, they're they're the best. They love you for who you are, and they let you create and put in your own feel. I mean. Yeah. Reggae music, it's here in, 
in Jamaica. I mean, this is, is a lifestyle, is a culture. It's not just listening to the music and learning. I mean, you have to absorb the culture. Yeah. And I you mean, fit in so well. We could have never tell. Like, when you hear him play, <laughs> you can't tell that him not from yard, you know. Him, him no off a catch, him no off a thing, you know. And you, you're creating waves in the space, um, you know, like literally the who's of who's you've either played with them or yes, yes. Um, do sessions with them yep. on, on engineer quite a few noted um, yeah. people in the space and um, I I want to say this publicly that I am so proud of you like I often talk about you wow. to my other students and to my family and they always check out my family I always check out home oh, fun oh. doing that thing and it's you an know we, we're watching we're watching you know sometimes like that the other day we we'll watch a YouTube video and see you in there I'm like yo oh. <laughs> You know, thank and think so. You. you know, keep on doing what you're doing, man. You yes, know, sir. um, you know, enough youths out there, um, them leave it by the wayside, them not them not them not focus and I love how you take this as a serious career, just like yes. bio um uh chemistry and um, you know, and you know, just say, well, well, let me just have the medical music thing. You, you're, he's, he's always prompt. You know, he studies his music, and you know, um, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of yours. Just, just simply put, you yeah, know, um, you. where you see um, in the next, you know, the next few, few years for you in the music. That's a great question. You know, um, shout out to my wife. I mean, Tammy. <laughs> I mean, she has been like my biggest cheerleader, you know, always encouraging me, in the, you know, um, because you know how the music is sometimes up, sometimes it's down, yeah. you know, but what, what, what keeps persons relevant is that's been able to, to re not to reinvent themselves, but to be authentic, mm -hmm. you know, and to be consistent, mm -hmm. you know, um, next 10 years from now, that's what I'll be having. I'll have my own personal home studio. Mm -hmm. And also, I've been working with 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 um, persons from Nigeria also because the Nigerian music is actually is finally. I'm so happy right now. It's it's finally crossing over into the Western Hemisphere. Yeah. Has been really big in Europe, you know, for a long while. But right now, it's now crossing over. You know, both both secular, you know, the band, you know, and also gospel. I mean, there are, there are so many Nigerian artists that are actually breaking into the. Western Hemisphere. So, and where I'm looking is where I, that's where I see myself is working with with um, um, artists and musicians from Jamaica, yeah. also persons from the U.S. You know, also persons from Europe, and also persons from my country, yeah. and also Africa as a whole. You yeah. know, so that's where my sight is. You know, think big. You know, working hard. You know, that's getting to be like the glue. You know, both like African feel. Jamaican feel, you know, hip hop, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say. And so you're you're saying now uh, the Afro music has been around for so many years, and you've been seeing it. So now it's crossing yes. over to so many music. years. And uh, um, from the eighties was with um, Fela Kuti. Uh -huh. That's with High Life. You know, that's um, that's from the eighties, and you know, he passed on. You know, blessed Fela Kuti, and and his son Femi Kuti actually. Stepped into his shoes, big shoes, you know, and 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 he was doing very well. And then from there we had um, artists like Daddy Shoki. Mm -hmm. Well, you might not. There's persons from here, man. Not, not so he he was the one that actually brought high life into the forefront, mm -hmm. like making it mainstream for everyone to enjoy. But the dancing because Daddy Shoki used to dance. Yeah. Daddy Shoki. I mean, so just do your research. I mean, so he would dance with the music, mm -hmm. you know. So so from him, you know. Um, stemmed a lot of artists um, from from Timaya and lots of them, you know, that's coming up, you know, and um, okay, I'm actually humbled mentioning these big names, yeah. I mean, but actually watching that, you know, the crossover and then Nigerian music actually growing so from there, from High Life came Makosa, you know, and then from Makosa, you know, now evolved into the known Afro music that is, you know, African music, Afro music that is now called. Yeah. Um, what are some of the the music you're listening now? Um, now that you've, you know, been playing reggae, you know, you have extensive knowledge, uh, like all of the, the, the you know, because you also play gospel as well. As, yes. Yeah. As secular. So, like, what what you listen to now these days? I listen to everything, yeah. everything from 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 um. Opera, oh, the, oh that. Oh, so, so I, I listen to everything. Yeah, you grew up on Bach, right? Yeah. yeah. So I listen to everything, you know, 
Makosa, High Life, Reggae, Dancehall, Skia, mm -hmm. Rocksteady, Mento, mm -hmm. everything. I, I listen to everything, and then based on the vibe of the environment I'm around, I create music based on that vibe. Yeah. Nice. So I don't keep my mind in a box. In a box, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. But I just create based on the environment and the vibe at the time. All right. I'm going to put you on the spot now. What's your door of choice? Make Pro sure Tools all okay, the way. Okay, Pro okay, tools okay, okay. All the way. All the way. Pro Tools. I mean, all I the Reaper people. <laughs> Say it's PT. Yeah, man, Pro Tools all the way. Yeah, Has yeah. always been Pro Tools. I just love how yeah. it works. You know, it's yeah. just well to me. It's it's my favorite. You know, <laughs> I started with um with reasons. Uh -huh. That was a little bit confusing for me, and then I went to yeah. um Logic, which was yeah. okay. But I mean, not not putting on Logic. It's awesome, you know. But when I went on Pro Tools, yeah. I just got stuck. Big boy on stuff, man. I want to hear about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. What kind of bass you play? So right now I play the Ibanez SR SR. I think SR. Something five, you know, mm -hmm. five string Ibanez, um, Bartolini MK1 pickups. Um, I'm looking towards getting the Ken Smith, oh. Ken Smith, I mean, yeah. and uh, and the MTD. Yeah, yeah and so. remember, I'm a bridging, um, Andrew Brown used to um, talk about Ken Smith. I think awesome. he got one when awesome. we were kids great, great and place. stuff. Yeah, great and what's your, what's your amplifier? Okay, two of them. Now, um, that's the TC Electronics, I loved it. The TC Electronics. I also love the the um, David Eden, mm -hmm. but when they say big man style, mm -hmm. you know TC Electronics and Aguila amps. Yeah. Now the GK is an amazing amps. You know, yeah. most persons underrate it, mm -hmm. but but to me it's on the same level like Aguila TC Electronics. Mm -hmm. The GK. I yeah. mean, it's a Galen Kruger amazing bass amp. But it's still on. I don't know why, but it's still underrated. Yeah. But, but you yeah. you seem to make it work. Yes, right. yes. You make it work. Yeah. You make it yes, work. Yes. Okay, so what would be your encouragement to youths now? Um, you know, because you're a self-starter. Um, you are a person that always seek knowledge um, and go get it from the right source. Hence, you know, you, you came to me to, to, you know, to mentor you, to train you, to yep. tutor you. Um, what would be your advice? To, to people who have an interest in something? Um, the first first question you have to ask yourself, why do you like that? Why? I mean, and then what 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 will you offer the world? Okay, and then when when you know why, if it's for money, it wouldn't last long. Mm. If it's for money, doing things just for the money will just be so far and then you will lose the interest when the money's not there. All right, um, you have to love what you're doing. Why? Why are you doing it? You know, and then and also, most important is it's super important that persons put God first. You know, that's my own, that's my point of view. I mean, God has to be there. I mean, He will lead and direct your your steps. You know, and also, and also be hungry to learn more. Never feel comfortable. Always, always push yourself and be around the right people. That you don't really have to hunt hunt around the right people, but you will know when this is the right environment for you. You have to follow your heart because your heart will tell you, okay, this is the right place to be, mm -hmm. you know, and never look down on nobody. Mm -hmm. That's how I grew up, you know. Don't look down on nobody. L learn and absorb as much. Even right now I teach some students, and what my students are doing right now, yeah. trust me, I mean, those guys, those young kids are crazy. I mean, they do so much. I'm like, how did you do that? How did you figure out that? So I'm learning from my students, you know. Yeah. So always, always be hungry. Keep searching for knowledge. You know, keep pushing yourself. Never feel comfortable. From you feel com comfortable, you are going to start dying off like a flower. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. There you have it. You have it from pronounce your full name <laughs> in Nigeria for them because I can't do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so my name is Mfonabasi, it means God's grace. The second middle name, Eswa Orok. Eswa means he who hates Orok. I'm not, I'm not so sure, but based on what I hear, it means like I'm a strong person. Yudosen, that's my, my, my last name. That's how it's pronounced here in the Western world, but it's actually properly pronounced Udosen. There's like a song to it, Udosen. Udosen. Excellent. Well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it, me it means the second son or the second son of the family. Yeah. yeah. So there you have it. Love what you do. Ask yourself why you're doing it. 
if you did for money, it's not gonna last long. My guest here on In My World, so, so, so great to have you on here. Thank you Thank so you, much. Enough respect, my big youth. Up, big up, big boss. Big up, and um, all the best um, on, on your end, in your endeavors yes, and sir. all the music stuff and everything else, right? Much, Most much definitely. blessings. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Canute. See you next time.